Today we're going to continue on in our study in the book of Mark, and we're starting chapter 4, and that means we're going to see the first of a few parables that Mark gives us in the gospel. Now, the question we want to start with is this, how receptive are you to the teachings of Jesus? Keep that question in mind as we get ready for the parable of the soils. Verse 1, it says, once again, Jesus began teaching by the lake shore. A very large crowd soon gathered around him, so he got into a boat. Then he sat in the boat while all the people remained on the shore, and he taught them by telling many stories in the form of parables, such as the one we're about to read. But before we read it, I want to make sure you understand what exactly a parable is. A parable is a story that puts across one main point with great effect, a lot like the punchline of a joke. And like a lot of jokes, you either get it or you don't. And we're going to see the truth of this statement as we study the parable of the four soils. Verse 3, Jesus said this, Listen, a farmer went out to plant some seed, and as he scattered it across his field, some of the seed fell on a footpath, and the birds came and ate it. Other seed fell on shallow soil with underlying rock. The seed sprouted quickly because the soil was shallow, but the plant soon wilted under the hot sun, and since it didn't have deep roots, it died. Other seed fell among thorns that grew up and choked out the tender plants, so they produced no grain. And still other seeds fell on fertile soil, and they sprouted, grew, and produced a crop that was 30, 60, and even 100 times as much as had been planted. And here's what Jesus told his closest disciples about this parable in verse 13. He said, if you can't understand the meaning of this parable, how will you understand all the other parables? And so Jesus did something in this parable that he rarely did for any of his other teachings in the other gospels. He explained the parable. He broke it down part by part. He said, the farmer plants seeds by taking God's word to others. And so the farmer is most immediately Jesus as he's bringing the message of the kingdom to the people of his day. But it's also anyone, even in our day, who shares the word of God. And so let's go back to that question we started with. How receptive are you to the teachings of Jesus? Keep this question in mind as you read Jesus' breakdown of the four soils. Here's what he says in verses 13 to 20. He says, The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message only to have Satan come at once and take it away. This is the person who has a heart like concrete. Their heart is so hardened to God's truth that it never sinks in, it never germinates, and it never grows. He goes on, The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy, but since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. This reminds me of the people who respond to the message of the gospel today because they have a misunderstanding of what that message really is. There are preachers out there who say that if you receive Jesus, then you'll have a great life, you'll be healthy and wealthy. And the problem with that message is that it's just not biblical. And so those people are going to be disappointed. Their roots won't go deep. And as soon as trouble comes, they're out of here. Jesus goes on. He says, the seed that fell among thorns represents others who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life, the lure of wealth, and the desire for other things, so no fruit is produced. This is the person who is just distracted. Their faith is crowded out by anxiety or stuff, and really what happens is they take their eye off the ball and get consumed by the stuff of life. They don't seek first the kingdom of God, And as a result, they don't produce any fruit in their Christian life. And that's a stark contrast with the seed that fell on good soil, which represents those who hear and accept God's word. And look at the payoff. They produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even 100 times as much as had been planted. And notice the picture that Jesus paints for us, that the goal is that someone becomes a disciple maker. Like that's the real litmus test to see how receptive you are to the gospel message. Which message have you heard? Is it that God will give you a great life or is it that God has a mission for you in life? This is what Jesus is trying to get across. And maybe it would be helpful to put this in a visual chart form. 
the footpath, the rocky soil, the thorny soil, and the good soil. And look at what Jesus is saying. He's saying some of it sprouted, less of it even grew, but only one type of soil produced fruit. And that was the good soil, the fertile soil, the receptive soil to the true, complete message of the gospel. So what's the punchline of the parable? What's the single main point? It's something like this. The same seed produces different results in different kinds of soil. Notice the seed is the word of God. It's the same seed that's being planted, but different types of soil respond differently to the same message. And that's why Jesus said this in verse 9. He said, anyone with ears to hear should listen and understand. Jesus knew that it wasn't his job to force people to receive his message. He was going to spread it around and whoever was receptive to it would receive it. And that's a hard truth for some people to really accept. Jesus explained it like this to his disciples while he was walking alone with the 12 and a few of the others who were gathered around. He said this, you are permitted to understand the secret of the kingdom of God, but I use parables for everything I say to outsiders so that the scriptures might be fulfilled. And then he quotes the Old Testament. When they see what I do, they will learn nothing. When they hear what I say, they will not understand. Otherwise, they will turn to me and be forgiven. So parables are designed not only to explain, but really more than that, to divide. To divide the audience between those with ears to hear and those without ears to hear. Those who are content with their existing understanding of things. Those are the people who will not pay attention. Those are the ones who don't have any interest or even any capacity to grasp the perspective of Jesus. So once again, the most important question for today, ask it for yourself, not just for the people around you in your life. How receptive are you to the teachings of Jesus?